like Vantage. Woo! Man, I love y'all. I really do. First, let me just say it is an honor to share this stage with so many of you guys up here, especially in the front of the room, that we all have the privilege and honor of calling business partners. And now that I've gotten to know them better, a lot of them mentors and even friends. So thank you guys for letting me have a chance to get up here and share this amazing platform with you guys. I am Abe Quintanilla. I am from Southwest Florida. Where's my Florida people? Woo! Represent, baby. Um, I also want to thank uh, my dear loving team, who if it wasn't for them, all of you in there from the youngest to the oldest. Where's Babe Woodrow, 86 years old, give it up. No excuses. <laughs> without, without you guys and all your honest efforts, we wouldn't be where we are today. So thank you. I'm going to start by sharing my story. And as I share my story with you guys, I'm going to develop at least one or two golden nuggets that I really think are crucial to the success of your life managed business. And I'm so excited for all of you that are here for the first time to what you're going to get at this event is really going to just blow your mind. So please take copious notes of not what I'm saying only, but everyone that's going to share the stage with me this weekend, because trust me, they're going to give you the fuel you need to make your business explode. This is TNT, baby. <laughs> My father was a firefighter and electrician, and he taught me at a very young age, you know, how to be hard and work for myself. Um, started many little businesses, had my own lawn maintenance business, and I wanted to be a firefighter like him, but he told me, son, you're going to see things that you just can't unsee as a firefighter. So I'll teach you something else that's dangerous. I'll teach you how to be an electrician. So you got to stay on your toes because you can't see that fire. Um, but, you know, it was really exciting, and, and we developed a lot of success. Right out of high school, we started our own company. And, you know, built that up in a couple years to a three-point-something million-dollar company. So experienced a lot of success. I was very thankful to him for what he taught me. But I am the man I am today because of my mom who raised me, who's in the audience. So thanks, Mom. I love you. <laughs> um, unfortunately, guys, you know what happened in 2007. The economy crashed, and we lost everything. You know, had to close the company, ended up divorced, um, you know, single father. And I lived in a freaking van down by the river. For real. No, <laughs> I, lived, I lived in a fifth wheel on the side of someone's house. I mean, that's how bad it was, collecting unemployment. As, can anyone relate with me? Anyone experience the, the economic downturn? Well, it was during that time that I really started opening my options to a second, you know, a plan B. And that's when my good friend Fred Graves called me up and uh, said, Abe, what if I could tell you that in the next two to five years, we could build you a business from home that could replace the income you were making and you can have time. And I tell you something, from running a successful business, if you're not out there yourself, things ain't getting done right or good enough. So I ended up not seeing my son, you know, and, and, and that really hurt me because one of the most significant events in my life was when I graduated high school and here's this huge, big, burly firefighter guy, my dad, um, and he's just bawling and I've never seen that man cry. And I'm like, well, Dad, what, what, what's going on, man? And he's like, he's like, you grew up, man, and it, it's like you were born yesterday. Man. I, didn't even, I didn't get to spend time with you, you know? And, and I said, you know what? That, it hurt me. It hurt me that I didn't get that. I was robbed that time with my father. And I didn't want to become that father, and that's what I was becoming, working traditional business. So when Fred told me this, I was blown away, and I was like, you know what? Man, that sounds really good. I, and, and, and if it was anyone else, I probably would have hung up the phone because I thought it would be full of it, right? <laughs> you know, some, in two to five years to be able to do that. But I did my research. As you guys know, we have unmatched products. The science behind them is irrefutable. And then I looked at the opportunity, timing, publicly traded, ground floor. Those are golden eggs you don't get in a basket that often, in the same basket. So we jumped on board with this thing, guys. And my first month I hit Pro 2. My second month I hit Pro 3. But then, here comes my first golden nugget. <laughs> I didn't follow the system. And I got stuck at Pro 3 for almost a year and a half. Anyone feel me? You stuck a little bit? Man, get out of your own way. <laughs> which kind of rolls into my second point, which is never missing an event. I went to an event that we didn't even have the money to go to. This is my family. I'm sorry. I forgot this. This is my one slide. <laughs> This is my beautiful family, guys. This is my why. And the reason why I'm showing that, look at that knockout up there. 
The reason why I'm showing that is because we went through a lot of sacrifice, guys, to get where we are today. And I couldn't have done it if it wasn't, if it wasn't for them. I mean, they're, the, they're what makes me beat. Uh, I'm not even going to go there right now. <laughs> I don't want to be like Brandon Cunningham and start crying. No, I'm just kidding, baby. I love you. I didn't mean to call you out like that. <laughs> but the point is, obstacles are going to come in your way as you build this business. But you've got to be able to understand that without a sacrifice, you're not going to attain what you want to get with this. So you need to make those necessary sacrifices. One of the hardest things I had to do as a parent was look at my kids and tell them, I'm sorry, but we're only going to be able to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for a week because I got to get to this event. Now, it's hard to explain that to kids, and I'm just running through this story really quick so I don't get emotional. But, guys, that's what the sacrifice that was necessary. What was the result? I got to sit down in front of some amazing people who slapped me around with this system and said, Abe, you're an amazing, amazing person. But if you just do what we do, you'll get what we have. In a nutshell, right? So, guys, keep it, keep it simple. Follow the system. We're all great at what we did prior to Life Manager, what we're doing. But if we just follow the system, we'll have the success. We'll reach the dreams. We'll have the, we'll reach the goals. Get those, golly, I can't even talk. <laughs> we'll accomplish what we want with this. You know what I'm saying? So in closing, and I'm sorry that I didn't even cover everything I wanted to cover. In closing, um, guys, look at this quote from Sheryl Sandberg, of CEO of Facebook. She said, if you're offered a trip on a rocket ship, don't ask what seat. Just get on. This is our rocket ship. If you want to be where we are, just get on. Don't get caught up. Expose, expose, expose this business. And I don't care if you ran out of your list. You meet people every day. So expose this business like this thing's going to go into rocket ship mode tomorrow. And I promise you, you'll be up here with us in no time.